Hello friends, so welcome to Desi Teacher Videsh. So today I want to discuss about the recent PhD positions in the field of uh, biology or life sciences and also in the chemistry, right? And there are some two postdoc positions as well, so I will also mention. But uh, please remember, these, these, for these positions, the deadlines are from like uh, 10th of May to 1st of June. So deadlines are very near, right? So you have to prepare all these like uh, documents and application as soon as possible. Okay. And uh, these positions are, some of the positions are in Sweden. And most of the positions are in like uh, Slovakia at one institute. So all these positions related to basically especially for the chemistry field, all these PhD positions are at the same institute. Okay, so I will go through all of this and all of the positions are in Helsinki as well. So I will go through uh, all of these positions and I will also mention like at the last how to apply and what you need to do, right, to get your successful application successful. Okay, so let's go through it. Okay, so there is a first PhD and the postdoc position and uh, it will start from 1st of June, right? So, but it can be discussed, but you have to remember that last date is 10th of May, okay? And this is related to the, uh, uh, like biology, means you must have the master's degree in uh, biology, biochemistry, genetics, biotechnology, or whatever, right? So related field. So basically, and you should have the interest towards the diabetics and diabetic mouse models, uh, so the work uh, wor like uh, includes it is already mentioned here you can see right uh, so basically they have to work like uh, in vitro and vivo uh, so in type 1 diabetes mouse models so but please remember the deadline is 10th of May right 10th of May so you can ap apply either for the uh, PhD if you have the master's degree or you can also apply for the post of position right if you have the PhD. Right, so and the basic requirements and eligibility criteria already mentioned here. So I will not go through, right? Uh, please remember that if you don't fulfill all the requirements, still you need to apply. I already mentioned many times, right? If you don't fulfill 100% of requirements, so then it doesn't matter, okay? So yeah, if you have some laboratory experience like in cell biology, PCR techniques, that's it. Okay, and moreover, you will learn everything uh, there, like at University of Helsinki. But what they need, these are the essential requirements, right? Okay, so next, how to apply, right? So you have to prepare like motivational letter, okay, one page. I already like uh, have one video for this, uh, how to prepare a motivation letter, please. So you have to go through it and your CV. So Okay, and including means lab experience, research experience, list of publications. Please remember, this CV is totally different from the one page CV. You have to include like your work or research work, list of publication. If you need any help, like so you can ask me, I can help you. Okay, and one or more recommendation letters or the names and contact information. If you don't have the recommendation letters from your referee, you just need to provide the names and contact information so the university can contact directly to the referees and get the reference letters uh, through online system or via email, whatever. And there's a link here. So I will also post this link in the description box, right? So you can just directly click and then you can go to the... Uh, uh, like uh, application portal and also please remember you have to create first user account right when you click then you need to create user account then you can update them from uh, application okay so there are second position this is also the postdoc scholarship and this is also related to the biology so basically it is the umia university in sweden and you should have the like uh, for it uh, in order to uh, get like uh, this postdoc position, you must have the PhD degree, right? In microbiology or biochemistry or chemistry or related discipline. And so you have, should, should, should have some experience like in microbiology or something like that. Okay, so the preferred background is already mentioned here. So I didn't, don't need to go. You just check this preferred background if you fulfill. And maybe 60 to 70% if you fulfill this criteria, you must apply for this postdoc position. Okay, and how to apply so you have to create a single pdf right you have to create a single pdf and this cover letter cv publication list and the contact information of all three referees and copies of latest degree certificate all you have to include in one pdf file okay and this pdf file you have to send to this email id right it is written that medal.diary.umu.se 
and in the sub in the like for example when you create a pdf file you have to include this reference number as well in, in the file name and also in the subject of email right so to mention this reference number in both like in the file name and also in the subject field it is also already written here fs 2.1 something something right okay so that is and uh, uh, like for more information you can also contact like this email id and please remember that last date is 1st of june right remember this last last date is 1st of june okay so here is the third position this is related to chemistry right so you should uh, be uh, like for this is the phd position and in chemistry with focus on like uh, uh, planetary geochemistry and spectroscopy so you should have like interest towards this geochemistry and planetary science or something like physical chemistry or astrobiology related things and if you have some experience like or you know some like uh, knowledge about matlab or python this programming that is also very good because you need to uh, like do the data analysis right after experimental analysis or after the experimental investigation you have to do some data analysis so that is also very good okay you should have the master's degree in chemistry that is the very essential requirement but so what you will do this is also already mentioned here so you can like this is very good project right please remember this is very very good project okay and how to apply so you should have these following document like cv cover letter these these copies and everything right and you need to apply through online so the link is already here and i will also post the link in the description box okay and for further information you can also contact like these email ids are already mentioned here and the last date please remember 24th of may please remember okay okay so this is the position like phd position in non organic chemistry and this is like in slovakia basically all these position now i will tell you like 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 whatever all these positions are like related to chemistry field phd positions in related to chemistry and all of these positions are at institute of inorganic chemistry okay and for all these position i will mention like 4 5 6 whatever so all for all these position deadline is 22nd of may so please remember okay so you have to apply as soon as possible okay so this position related to like ternary fluorides for modern application in inorganic chemistry and you have you should have masters like in chemistry and should have passed the entrance online exam so i will tell you what to do and you should have the approval of like uh, from your supervisor phd supervisor okay and this is the object like of like uh, this phd program so you have to basically it, this all related to the uh, inorganic fluorides for various branches of energy sector right so yes but the main thing is like you have to contact online to the your supervisor and email id of supervisor is already mentioned here and the link is also here like you see the link i already provided the link and please contact as soon as possible and ask your supervisor okay please send cv and short motivation letter uh, for this topic right and please just ask what is the further processing so because they will uh, ask, send you some link or something like that so you can also uh, means appear in the online examination because that is the requirement if you see like here right pass entrance online exam so please ask how what to process just ask them because uh, from the link that i i provided here you will not find like what is the exact like uh, process but this is mentioned that you have to contact the supervisor and just send your cv and motivational letter and ask like uh, okay what is the further processing because 22nd of may is the deadline so please do as soon as possible right this is very good opportunity and please remember all these position what i am telling these are the funded positions so you will get a salary okay okay this position is also another position same institute is uh, in slovakia right and deadline is 22nd of may this is this position is related to the computational chemistry so the eligibility criteria is the same you should have the master's degree in chemistry you have to pass the entrance exam and you should get approval from your supervisor right so this is related to inorganic chemistry and uh, Uh, not in organic chemistry this is related to computational chemistry and what you will do it is already mentioned here so you have to means develop some techniques or methods like for calculation of stratospheric parameters of both time magnetic and paramagnetic systems okay so something like that so the other information you can check like it is already written here this website is but what is the criteria right so you should again your cv and motivational letter 
and just send to the, your supervisor, right? This is, so so uh, the email ID supervisor is already mentioned here. And please, again, just contact as soon as possible and ask for the further processing, okay? And link for this PhD is already mentioned here. Yes. Like in the unit. And now the other position is also at the same institute, but this time this is related to the inorganic technology and materials or inorganic chemistry. Yes, so like uh, eligibility criteria is the same. Everything is the same. And the like the email ID of like supervisor is also mentioned here and all this information I will also like uh, describe in the description box of this video okay and still if you need any help right if you are like uh, feeling you need help like for the preparation of motivational letter or your CV you can contact me okay no problem because this is uh, like for your career right so don't hesitate right if you hesitate okay how can i contact like please don't feel shame if you need any help this is like by funda okay well other position so this is also position like here in the same like uh, institute and uh, this is also related to the inorganic technology and materials but this time phd topic is a little bit different right so you can see the uh topic right here it is already written so use theoretical computational method or something like that but again so the eligibility criteria is the same because the same institute same department in the chemistry okay and you should uh, like again this is the email id you need to send your cv and motivational letter to the supervisor so email id is here you can ask what is the further processing but this thing you have to do as soon as possible maybe within two or three days okay or maybe five days because still you have time but it's also not so much time and this phd position in physical chemistry right so this position is related to the hybrid materials of layered silicates with photoactive properties okay so dissertation goal is already mentioned here and eligibility criteria is always the same because master's degree in chemistry pass entrance exam and approval from supervisor okay so how to get the approval to supervisor you know like you have to send cv and motivational letter these are the two supervisor now this time here so you have to send to both of them the cv and mot uh, motivational letter and ask for the further processing what to do next because deadline is 22nd of May. Okay, here is again the PhD position of physical chemistry. And this is like uh, physiochemical analysis of light, length, height, molten systems. And the eligibility criteria is the same. And what you will do, the, it is already written here. So I will not go through it. And this is the here, the email ID of supervisor. Please send the documents to him or her and ask for the further processing. Okay, 22nd of May is the deadline. I repeat again, 22nd of May is the deadline. Okay, this is the last position, basically. So again, the PhD position in physical chemistry, right? And the eligibility criteria is the same. So just what you need to do, right? This is basically related to all these last three positions are related to the physical chemistry, right? So you just need to make uh, like, uh, uh, for example, motivational letter, like in order when, for all motivational letter you have to focus what like, like because it is the in the section what you will do right this thing is mentioned so you have to show in the motivational letter like what i will do in the phd i already have some foundation in the masters okay this is the email id of supervisor just send cv and motivational letter and ask what how to process further right okay so we have gone through all these applications right so one thing i just want to tell you right because for example when how to create this uh,
so thank you very much this is uh, dr cat from the teacher videsh and please subscribe share and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will get notified for the further videos and further information thank you very much and see you in the next video